Attach the top and bottom fixtures to the machine, as shown. Tighten the nut to hold the fixture firmly. Now take the suture thread and attach it to the fixture, as shown. Making multiple loops will help avoid slippage of sample. Do not press zero after fixing the sample. Start the software. Select Tensile Test. If this is your first test, fill up the relevant details as shown. If this is a repeat test, the details from the last test will automatically show on the screen. Change only the fields that need to be changed. The software will report elongation in millimeter. If you want to report elongation in percent, then click this button and provide the test length. Measure the center distance of the two pulling pins as your test length. You can also specify a test target. If the braking load is more than this target, the software will declare the test as pass. Click on done, and then, yes. Do not press zero after fixing the sample. Press start button. The machine will start to move upwards. The increasing load on the suture sample will also be visible as a graph on the software screen. As soon as the sample breaks, the machine will auto stop and return back. It will show a test completed sign. Click OK. Fill in remarks, if any. Then press save. The window will close and a PDF test report will be generated. Peak load is the braking force. If the value is greater than your target value, the software will declare this test as a pass. Software will show the deflection in millimeter and percent if you have selected the option. Remove the tested sample.